All right, guys, so this is the P90, and this used to be one of the most insane weapons when the game came out. Not because it was very good or because it dealt a lot of damage, which, by the way, it did not, but because of this very reason. Look at that, 50 rounds in the magazine, and whenever you pack a punch it, it goes up to 400. That's eight times the max size, which is pretty insane. So you can shoot this for, like, you know, five minutes without stopping. Better than an LMG, basically. You don't need max of holding or anything. But yeah, unfortunately, this was amazing when packed, but not that great when it comes to the damage and everything. And kind of, you know, it was okay-ish, I'll say, in tier 3. But with season 6, they kind of buffed the hell out of this uh, P90. And now it's actually pretty insane. So we're going to test it out in tier 3 in the Dark Ether as well. Unfortunately, I do not have an Elder because my game has been crashing a bit lately, so I lost them. But, you know, it's fine. I, I cannot wait to try this out again. I, I was really disappointed to see that this weapon has such an amazing pack-a-punch ability and then it, it's not that great in the actual game. But with this buff, hopefully it can hold its own in the Dark Ether and Tier 3 as well. The loadout is going to be on the screen right now. I am going to hop straight into Tier 3 because, yeah, that's where the fun happens. The bullies and Mega Abominations. So before we get there, as always, guys, make sure you smash the like button, subscribe for more content. We're almost at 20,000 subscribers. Would be absolutely amazing if we hit that by the time Black Ops 6 comes out. And yeah, without further ado, let's get this. All right, guys, so we made it to tier 3. I managed to grab an HVT contract. Unfortunately, there's no Mega Abomination, but it is a Mimic. And look at that, that, that Armored Zombie went down so fast. But we don't have an Ammo Mod as well which for the Mimics is going to be the Brain Rod, so this is going to be the normal dam damage of the weapon with that shot, of course, which kind of helps a bit if you ADS, but, you know, it's not that crazy amount of extra damage. But let's see what this does against this Mr. Mimic right here. And if you ask me, that right there is some pretty great damage. And if you, if you have Brain Rod as well, that almost doubles. Oh my god, this... The spits are insane. And he's pretty much dead. Look at that. Fantastic. And do you see how fast that reload is? Like, look at this. 400 rounds back in the magazine, literally in like one second. That's pretty insane. This also has stack stands, which, by the way, it's pretty amazing as well. Look at that. So good. Like, this, for me at the moment, kind of has to be a contender for the best SMG in the game. Like, it's just it's just insane. Like, it might not do the damage of an FJX horse, or it might not shoot as fast. But having 400 rounds in a magazine is just ridiculous. So let's try to grab another HVT contract. Maybe we get that Mega Abomination. Who knows? And I also want to get, like, a good ammo mod to actually find those HVTs as well to... To see how much is the the maximum amount of damage possible. And for the Dark Aether, I think I might go to the last one. But I'm a bit skeptical. We'll see in a second. But before I go do the Mega Abomination HVT, you know. We have this annoying guy right here. Which, as always, we kind of have to bully. Because, you know. It, it's just become a normal part in the game right now bullying mega abominations look at that just a few bullets and it's like losing health super fast but you know what i'm gonna go up here the weakness of mega abominations i'm gonna show a decoy so these guys leave us alone look how good that is just look how good that is yeah this smg is nice this SMG is nice because you can just hold mouse one. Is that a VR11? Yes, it is. Okay, I'll take that. I'll take that. You know what? I have gold plates on me, so I'm just going to put them on. I I'm going to feel a bit safer because I die of random things in this game a lot. So gold plates is definitely going to help out a bit. This thing is amazing. This thing really is amazing. Oh, never mind. Let's reload. Awesome. I really wish I had an ammo mod for for that mega. But you know what? Maybe this disciple is going to drop us brain rot? Well, it dropped us a normal plate. I'll take that, I guess. Alright, let's go find that mega abomination now. So normal mega abomination went down pretty darn quick, like... It was insane. Went down faster than that Mimic, to be honest. 
Even though that was an HVD, the Mimics are, are, you know, the easiest things to kill. But Mega Abominations are not threat anymore, to be honest. Head off just like that. Reload for that extra one bullet. We go up here now. Now he's gonna growl. There we go. Whoops, I did not mean to throw that. I, I, for a second, I thought I had an ether blade. All right, guys, goes there for a second. And I might die here, so I'm just gonna throw that. I don't have PhD as well. There we go. Contract done. Easy. Uh, monkey, I'll take it. And we get speed call, I already have. And PhD proper. Let's go. Amazing. All right, before I do anything else, I want to get an extra or an extra. I want to get an ammo mod. So I'll go around search for one. Then I'll grab another HVD contract. So we see the maximum amount of damage. So I guess while I wait for that, uh, I'm gonna see you guys in just a few seconds. All right, guys. So I grabbed an HVD contract. I did manage to get Nepal mode, which is pretty good for Mega Abominations. It's not Brain Rot, but Nepal mode works just fine. Now let's see what this actually does against this chunky boy right here. Okay, a bit of lasers. Let's jump up here. Look at that damage. Just look at that damage. All right, buddy. How about some more lasers? Thank you so much. Yep. Yep. That's pretty great. Come on. One more laser, dude. Laser one more time, buddy. I know you want to. He doesn't want to. There's so many zombies down there. I'm a bit scared. I'm up here, maybe? Yes. There we go, finally. Look at that. And he's dead. Just like that. This weapon is amazing right now. This weapon is actually amazing. Okay, Shadow Blast right there. I don't want that. Let's we'll stick with this. Alright, and I think we kind of saw everything we needed to see in tier 3. Like, this weapon basically destroys tier 3 without any issues. Zombies are a walk in the park. Mega Abomination is going down super fast. Crowd control, well, you have 400 rounds in the magazine, so you should not worry too much. He fire pretty great as well, so let's just go to the Dark Aether and um, see what else we can do in there. Actually, I'm going to go to the last one in Season 5, so I'll see you guys there in a bit. All right, guys, we made it. Dark Ether. Again, I'm gonna do two contracts in here. Like, doing the the escort takes way too long. And I don't really think it's that worth it. But Outlast is a very great challenge for a weapon, so we'll definitely do that one. Now, in the normal Dark Ether, the zombies are pretty much the same as in Tier Three. That's why I kind of wanted an Elder Dark Aether, so the zombies had a bit more health, but that's fine. This is still going to be a challenge, just because there's there's so much more zombies in Tier 3. Like, this place is insane. Reminds me a lot of the Season 3 Dark Aether. Although I don't know which one has more zombies, that one or this one. I still tend to, to think that that one has a bit more, but... The amount of zombies here is pretty ridiculous as well, so... Hello, Mr. Mimic. Look at that go down so quick. But again, in the third Dark Aether, you do have the power-ups, which really help a lot, so... Oh my god, they're everywhere. Hit fire everything. Okay, have a bit of that. Oh my god. That is so many zombies. And what happened to my energy mine? I don't know what's happening. I kind of corner myself a bit right here. Come on, don't go down, don't go down. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Let's go. All right. That looked chick. Whatever it is. Mimic. Oh no, it's a mimic. No, not mimics. Actually, we do damage to this one. I just don't want to get hit by that that pulse. I just don't want to get hit by the pulse. 
the pulse is very annoying. I got hit by the pulse and I went down. You know what kind of sucks? The fact that whenever you hit... Oh god, another one? Whenever you hit, get hit by the poles, the zombies don't. That's a bit annoying if you ask me. Stop it. There's so many. My gold armor. Cannot. Deal with these guys fast enough. A bit of an energy mine. We get that, that, that. Fantastic. We get a very nice insta-kill right here. There's so much happening. There's so much happening in this game. <laughs> oh my god. Like, this weapon is so good, but... There's too many zombies. And this guy. Die. Just die. Thank you. And another energy pulse. Okay, are we done? I think we're done. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's go do the, the second contract. Oh my god. You see, look at, look at the way they spawn. They're already here. And each and every one of them, it's a super sprinter. But you know what? I absolutely love the challenge, so... I will take this. Even if I take a few downs, this is why I carry extra cell revives. It's just fun. There we go, we grab that. Very smooth. But yeah, gold plates really are... Kind of necessary. I mean, of course, you can do it without gold plates as well. The gold plates are very necessary. But even with that, like, you still struggle sometimes just because there's there's too many zombies. And the gold plates really don't have time to regenerate plates in time. But it's fine. We got this. Like, look at that, that dog that's behind me. I did not even hear him come up. There we go. We grab these two inhibitors. Now we go up here. This is the route I usually take. I do that one next to me and then I go up here to that one over there. I feel like this is pretty much just the, the quickest route to do this contract. You can throw this like me there as well, which is fantastic. We break this down fast. Then we have another ether jump pad thing that sends us right next to the next one. We pick up these two. Now we go to this one. Now this is where a Scorcher is kind of important to do this contract extremely quick. We do one here and one here. Then you can just replenish the ammo. So you get... Okay, zombies. How about we chillax for a second? There we go. This is why I like the Scorcher. Because on this one there's like no ether pass that will take you close to the thing so you have to use this one and then this one but a scorcher will just fix that basically very nice one there one there awesome bam now you could take the right route this one and use the jump pass down there but I want to do something else. I'm going to go up here because I want to check the ship. Up we go. Let's see. Is there going to be a wonder weapon here? And it is not. Man, my luck. Just my luck. Now let's just go down. Actually complete the contract. There we go. One and two. We do that. Bam, bam. Flawless. Self revive. A legendary tool. Awesome. And you know what? Before I exfil, let me see if there's anything in that room right there. Whoa. So we know if we do this reg, we get anything. And there is something. And I'm, I'm very tempted of going and getting it. Alright, I'm gonna get it, but most likely, it's gonna be a one-off. That is just my luck with this game. Let's see. Alright guys, so I got the key. Actually, it was pretty easy. This weapon took down that mangler extremely quick. And let's see. Is there gonna be a Scorcher, or is it gonna be another one-off? 
And the moment of truth, it's a wonder off. And every time I do this. Every single time I do this. But you know what, guys? That's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe for more content, and let me know in the comments what do you think about this PDSW, or the P90 as we all know it. Because for me, I think this is pretty much one of the best SMGs in the game right now. I kind of like this more than the FJX, and that, that says something. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.